Hey there again folks, welcome back to New Day, New Game. Today we're playing Dal Segno. I guess is how you pronounce it, I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm going to assume that's correct. Uh, I would like to thank the folks at Circus and Manga Gamer for letting me try this game out for free. I normally tend to mention the developer uh, as far as the, the keys, but a lot of times I think it is the publisher that... that uh, that, you know, lets me uh, have these keys for free, uh, that decide, you know, who, who gets what, you know. Uh, it probably does make sense that since the publisher uh, is more the marketing side of it. Uh, I put this out because I was kind of, kind of slightly like, huh, because I'm doing these in order, you know. Uh, I've mostly in order of how I get them, you know. Uh, Bill Walker and uh, a skeptic's guide to magic. I had, uh, you know, I had gotten more recent. So when I get it, when I'm, uh, to keep from getting further behind because I'm bad behind on the games that you know the uh, people have given me. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep from getting further behind because I'm bad behind. But uh, I was like, that's weird. Two visual novels in a row. Uh, the, uh, it's actually uh, Mega Gamer that's the uh, uh, publisher of both of them. So I'm guessing that's why on Keymailer I got them like bang bang, you know, back to back. So yeah, this is a bit of an older game. So it's probably like, the, oh yeah, this guy requested this game quite a while ago. So yeah, we'll let him have it. <laughs> uh, sorry, it was quite a bit later on. But anyway. Yeah, this is a visual novel. I don't know quite what to expect here. Uh, popular user-defined tags for this product. Less nudity. As a as the first as the first tag. Um, so I don't know if that's in the game. <laughs> um, games like this, I do. I do like to go in blind, but I also like to know what to expect because if it's too gratuitous yeah um I probably could I probably would edit around it but I could probably I could probably manage you know something like even you know like blocking stuff off I know uh, I did one game uh, uh Something the Master of Ritarnia, I think was the name of it. Um, something like that. And I did have to do some blurring, you know. Uh, but I didn't get into any, uh, like, anything past, you know, just, oops, you know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I went to the community hub and uh, I didn't see any nudity in, like, the screenshots of the game. Uh, there was some, you know, um, some, some getting there pictures, you know, in the process pictures, you know, <laughs> like, oh yeah, there, this, 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 this lady's going to be naked, you know, pretty soon, but it wasn't any actual, like, full-on, you know, nudity, so, I'm not sure if maybe that's been edited out of the screenshots. You know, the, the, the screenshots is the, you know, community thing where people can take screenshots and upload them, you know, to Steam. Uh, and, yeah, sometimes, you know, going through those sometimes, like, whoa. Dang. <laughs> so, yeah, that, you know, if there's nudity in the game, it's no, it's normally no problem, you know, that being showed on there. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure if there's going to be nudity in this, so... I guess we'll find out together. Okay, I don't know what she just said, but I will take her word for it. I looked up to a blue sky. The same blue sky as the ocean at my feet. It was a timeless saying that the ocean is the sky's mirror. But here, the stark reality lent credence to that saying. I looked up to a blue sky. The sun's rays emitting a gentle warmth. It's been a while since I've done a visual novel. I, 
I've always found them fun, you know. So this may wind up being a bit of a longer video. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, they're just really fun to me. You know, they're, they're fun enough, you know, just doing by myself, you know, playing a visual novel by myself. Although I don't really play that many, honestly. I'm playing through Phoenix Wright, uh, the uh, re-release on the Steam. Uh, I'm almost done with it. Uh, it took me way long, taking me way longer than I expected, but I'm kind of distracted by other games. But uh, as far as just straight up visual novels... I don't tend to play them, you know, like on my own. But they're really fun to let's play. They're actually more fun to let's play than uh, than to play on my, you know, play doing that, you know, just on my own. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know why. They tend to be very fun to to question the logic, you know, a lot of times. Or, uh, you know, I don't do any crazy voices. I tried doing that at one point. I was like, nope. Um. Yeah, that was a bad mistake. So I don't do that. Uh, but yeah, there, so this is probably going to be a bit of a longer video. Everything basks in its light. And attained a magnificent splendor. I was illuminated, wishing the world was so. I looked up to a blue sky. Gently, carelessly. A single white shard burned bright as it drifted down. Something out of place in a supposed eternal paradise. You know, it's really dangerous to just look at the sky, look at the sun with uh, with no like protective gear. Um, so realistically, the game should like be very blurry or something for the rest. I don't know what I don't know the exact damage, but it'd be funny if the girls were like mirror imaged, you know, like, kind of overlaid <laughs> for the rest of the game. Like, this is this is how they how these how these uh, events would be seen from the uh, na uh, from the narrator because he was looking at the freaking sun without any protection. Yeah, sorry about messing over the thing there. I reached my hand out. It looked to me like the sun had shed a teardrop. So I reached my hand out. I couldn't stand to see the sun the sun cry. That's why I. Oh wow! We we put a name in. Oh, and that is not showing up on there. Huh? Sorry about that. That's weird. Okay, let me. Uh... No 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 no. Okay okay. Well, we're just gonna do the. Uh... Okay, shook. Can I put numbers? Okay, good. I can do numbers. We're shook 50. They're probably going to be calling me 50. Yo, what's up, 50? So, since you can't see this, I was going to I was gonna switch over and show display. Then. But our association is Kazana Academy, second year, class 3. Address, Kazana, Kazana Academy, number 2, dorms. Number 2, dorms. Ugh. Sounds like the crappy ones. Uh, reason for embarkation to enter Kazana Academy. Okay. Yeah, confirm to move on. Yep, yep. Use that name. Okay, okay. Now, now we're good again. Whoa, we're fifty. <laughs> Shook fifty was on two different things, you know. So, so bright, light assailing me from all directions. The burning day, the burning reflection. Just shielding my eyes with one hand, couldn't block it out. But, but. Beneath the blue canopy, I couldn't help but look at my brightly lit surroundings. Not at all like back home. Just barely taking a peek, I could sense the sun's ferocity. Staying into the sun was dangerous, even with sunglasses. It's good that he knows this. Why was he doing it? But, I really couldn't believe it was winter. A sky and ocean like this could only exist in the middle of summer. Tokyo sunshine always had a tinge of loneliness to it, and, it, and even in the summer it was dull. Well, technically this was still within Tokyo's jurisdiction. The mainland was well beyond the horizon, though. I could be anywhere, really. Kazana Island. There was originally a marine research facility or something here. 
So I, so I had heard the name a bunch of times. But after it became a designated zone for research and education, its reputation spread like wildfire. It had even gained notoriety as a place to, li to live or vacation. I'm sure it had support from the government, but its growth centered around the academy was unprecedented. And also, the dorms are super cheap to complement my full scholarship, and the amenities here left nothing to be desired. This was going to be paradise for me. Right. I couldn't let myself get complacent. The shining blue sky would spur me on every morning. The sky was void of clouds, and I knew the night sky would be epic too. The sky was void of clouds. One, two, three, four, five. Like some some little like. Uh, Are we looking at the same sky here? Are me and this 50 guy, are we, are we looking at the same sky? Because I see clouds. Well, void sounds like, I mean, maybe I just don't know my, my, my vocabulary. Maybe it, but void is like emptiness. So, when, when you say the sky was empty of clouds, I would think, no clouds. Clear. I see clouds. I mean, there wasn't clouds like up above, you know, but then it's, pan down and there's clouds I mean does he mean like right above because I mean the horizon I think counts as the sky you know until it hits the ground I mean that's really the sky I think you know let's see yelling where no one is ever unhappy I knew it was just a tourist slogan or something people stuck in the city uh, people stuck in the city like to fantasize about but at that moment I kind of believed it This blue sky might make it possible. Okay, somebody's talking this, huh? Okay, the way I normally play these, you know, uh, when there's like uh, voice acting, they tend to uh, do voice acting for the uh, female characters, you know. So I tend to let them do the talking. So, uh, so yeah. And I do just do the voice of the protagonist, you know. I've heard actually that people just prefer me to be quiet and not read anything. But I figure, you know, reading the protagonist is the, you know, playing, you know, me playing kind of the part, you know. Only I'm a bit more snarky and sarcastic. -like. My eyes are burning. They should be burning. You know, I should be like, Yes, madam. Can I help you cross the street? Because I can't tell, you know, that you look a little bit like a 14 year old girl, actually. So, um, anime characters. It's the scary thing about it. <laughs> But the joke was, you know, if your eyes were like damaged, you would you'd probably think she was like 60. Although most 60 year olds can make it across the street, so we'll go 80, 80, 80 to 90, for the joke to work. Why should you hesitate before having trouble? What does having trouble mean? Having trouble? What sort of trouble? <laughs> uh, no, I just, uh, this is my first time here, so I was enjoying the scenery. Oh, thanks. She was brimming with energy. It's a bit overwhelming. Or maybe it was. Sorry, but you are... And she got eye in my face! Like, uh, give me a little bit, just give me a little bit of notice. Like, excuse me, sir, I am about to be in your face.
Your humble girl type AI? So she's a robot, okay. AI? Amy? Okay, cat type, you know. Badger type. I've never heard that. I've never seen that type of uh, anime. <laughs> never would have known if she didn't say something. Oh, so you're a robot. Let me check something. Interesting. A robot. <laughs> I mean, not probably. <laughs> you know, probably be a little bit more casual. Like, hmm. Cool. No, that's not. Ca that's not more casual. That's worse. That's worse. This girl was an AI. Okay, I, I was uh, wondering if uh, most visual novels I can use the uh, mouse wheel. Can I go back? My name is Amy. Yeah. We never told her our name, I don't think. Oh thanks. Oh, well, I should just I just get, should have kept going forward. Oh thanks. Hmm. Did I did I give you my name? <laughs> right. I thought so. Well, how did you know then? That's creepy. What's my browser history involved? Okay. Yeah, I am. clicking with me. She had been following me since I left the airport. She said since reception, so from inside the airport. Well, whatever. There was no way she was a baddie, even if she even if she was. Even if she was, I could probably take her. Wait a second. Are we sizing this girl up? <laughs> this robot girl up? Yeah. <laughs> I could take her. We're sizing up, you know, the, uh... <laughs> then again, we were saying pretty intently, you know, at her, um, uh, physical vulnerabilities, so... I guess we were! <laughs> sizing her up. I was more curious about her being an AI. Well, at least that's what she called herself. I mean, if she's an AI, then... They're probably fixing to get to this, but what does this mean? Does it mean like, she's like, um, I'm trying to think, is there a better example than what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of like the Doctor in uh, the uh, Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. I feel like there is, but you know, he's an AI, he's a, he's a program. Let's just go full Star Trek here, why not? Okay. Doctor from, uh, the Doctor from, from Voyager, you know. He's an AI who's stuck on the ship because he's basically a hologram that moves and looks, you know, behaves. But there's also Data, who is an AI. But he's got an actual physical body. So which, which type of AI is this? Because if this, if this is a Data AI, we probably couldn't take her. She probably could, like, grab our, th grab us by the neck and be like, ah, okay. Well, cool. <laughs> just throw us like 10 feet. Oh, yeah. 
Just so down. Oh yeah, huh? That's what she, uh, at least going by appearance, has called herself. Suppose it's good manners to believe her. One would cordially address other people, so of course AI girls were no exception. I figured I'd make some of my other concerns known. She, she likely knew because she lived here. Can I ask you something? Around you, well... All around me, too. It's floating... Wait, what?! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I am an idiot at times, but th I think I'm playing an idiot here. He just kind of like just stares up at the sky like this. And then, you know, to this robot girl, he's just like, around you, well, all around me too. It's floating everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What's the shiny stuff? It was technically winter, but there was no way it could be snow. Not in this weather. Okay. Thought it was just like... You know? That, that light bulb's not very bright, but you know, there's dust in the air. I thought it was dust particles. I had to double check because it was similar. But something about it looked warm and cozy. Why are you laughing? Uh, okay. I mean, so much of it around. It's not like it could be harmful to humans. Well, you are talking to an AI girl, so. Whoa, it's cold. They're like teardrops. I mean, regular snow, right? But it doesn't melt. The word teardrops popped up into my head for just a second. I became fixated on the stuff. It was identical to actual snow. I'm a little suspicious about these snow sprites. That probably wasn't the actual name for it, anyway. I figured I'd leave it at that. I didn't want to push the topic anymore. I mean, I think it's probably worth uh, talking some more about. I mean... Snow sprites. Are they, like, little, like... Itty-bitty robots that, like, control the temperature? Because that's really creepy. I mean, do they have, like... Can they, like, send and receive signals to know, like, what temperature to make it? So you don't make it, so they make it too cold, or so they can make it cold enough? And, uh... I mean... Do they have any recording things? That's, that's the scary part. Like, what if, what, what if they did? Alright, I have one more thing I want to ask. Can you tell me where the Academy Dorms are? Huh, uh, yeah. How do you know how fast I walk? What if I have a really slow gait? Or fast gait? I'm just saying. Alright then, what if I stuff pick my nose? Maybe then it'd be like 18 minutes and 3 seconds, you know. Because you don't want to be picking your nose while walking because then you might be like, ugh. And that just hurts. Not that I know from experience. Never pick my nose while walking down the hallway and put my elbow on the wall. She sure was specific. That's what I asked after all.
Thanks, I appreciate it. My cousin had explained to me roughly how to get to the campus from the airport, but this was uncharted territory for me. So having a guide would be easier, and I appreciated her enthusiasm. It's not like I was wary or anything, but following uh, behind felt safer. Okay. So she's a humming AI, huh? Provided she was telling the truth, that is. This really was a beautiful place. Any path along the ocean was a sight to behold, and this island scenery was leaps and bounds beyond anything I had ever seen. The perfectly reflected sky and the sea, expanding out for eternity. Hey, a lighthouse! Take your word for it, I don't see one. Oh, okay, well, there it is. Oh. The lighthouse that doesn't ever need to shine is speaking. Something about it made it cooler. Okay. Yeah, it spices up the view for sure. You know, it's one of them spicy lighthouses. Oh, really? Hmm. The way she was leading me and giving me the island explanation was seamless. Almost as if she was acting out of program. She was flawless. The possibility of her being an AI is still in my mind. It didn't change the fact that she was doing an excellent job. You know, I would be really... What I would do is I'd be really terrible. Well, she's she's enacting kind of like this uh, this uh, like program. What happens if I try to mess it up? Hey, uh, Amy, do AIs pick their nose? Do AIs get boogers? <laughs> yeah, I'm on kind of a weird picking your nose uh, uh, motif here. <laughs> um. Actually, I'm, now that I say that, I'm actually curious. Do, do, do they get bookers? Hmm. Dang. Then I thought. So I was just thinking. Aren't you busy with other things? I could probably find the dorms on my own, you know. What? What just happened? That's toward the ocean. Whoa, hang on! I jumped off the road and reached for her as, it, as she fell. If I can just... Wah! I swear I caught her, but her hand. Ah! Okay, I think she's like the Voyager Doctor then. The way he said, oh, her hand. I, I think that, I think she's not a, I don't think she's actually material, materially there, you know. I thought I heard a girl's voice. Like she was in trouble, like she was panicked. But I didn't know who it could be. Wait, maybe, maybe I had heard that voice. First I need to open my eyes. My vision, blinded by white, finally started to make out a blue sky. Huh? What? How did it get like this? Oh, you're, uh, you're... Not the badger type, the, uh... <laughs> wow, the super cute girl type. 
Also the humble tap, apparently. Oh yeah, I knew that. So how did we... Uh, felt like I was covered in something. But more than that, my body and mind just felt sluggish and heavy. No, not sluggish. More like pain. My clothes felt weird. Like they were stuck to me more than usual. Dude. That's water. You fell in the ocean. You fell in the ocean, your wa your clothes are stuck to you. And, uh... I'm surprised that these, uh... Uh, two anime ladies, uh, don't have, like, see-through, like, shirts because they dove in to rescue you. I'm just a little surprised at that. <laughs> Although, uh, Amy, I'm, I'm supposing, couldn't do that. Eh? Who is this? I sure didn't know any girls this cute. She's girl in the white hat. Gotcha. Now we know who she is. Huh? Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe, I guess. My body just, I don't know, feels heavy. Kind of painful. Though I had no idea where or what I hit. All I knew was I had some sensation that resembled pain. Yeah, I'm not ill or anything, but I, I do feel thirsty, I guess. Uh, let me see. Her face was so close to mine. Maybe that's why my forehead felt hot. I wonder what she's so worried about. It was nice knowing that she was genuinely concerned for me at least. I guess I should be more concerned why I was out cold. That? Me? I was drowning? I mean, how should I know? I just, uh... What did she mean with why? This girl, though, her smile was dazzling. Had no idea she what, what she was talking about, but she was dazzling. I was mesmer mesmerized by her cute smile, but her words rolled right through my ears. I was the one who needed to know why. Whatever. I needed to get a grip on what was going on. Sorry, uh, so, so what happened? We're really trying to figure out what happened. Nobody's telling us anything. Might have been better at Ask Amy. I had only just arrived, but I technically knew her better. That is true. No zitches. Oh, so I fell in the water. No, no, wait, hold on a second. So you're fine, Amy? You fell into the water with me, right? Huh? You didn't fall? This was definitely the same little hand I tried to grab uh, before I fell, but... Well, I'll just do what she says. Why? I, I went right through. I see it clearly before me, but I couldn't feel it like it didn't really exist or something. Okay. Now we know for sure she's the immaterial uh, girl type. Oh, wow. 
a hologram? You're kidding, right? Her pretty smile when I was zoning out at the airport. Her worried face when I came to on the beach. That very girl was just a hologram. Wait a second! She's the snow program thing, you know. She, like, uses that to be able to teleport and stuff, don't she? Yeah, but that's all a part of her. Or either it's like a whole other AI program. Yeah, I'm predicting it. We're not going to get that far. <laughs> to know, but that's what I'm predicting. That very girl was just a hologram? Wow. How rude of him to write the word disbelief on my face while I was out cold. That's just rude. Of course I can't believe something like that. I mean, you're right in front of me. Here's a thing. <clears throat> Is this technology completely unknown? I mean, I know there's some, like, technologies, you know, in the world that I'm not the most familiar with, but I'm very sure there's not, like, hologram. I'm, I'm pretty sure if there was a hologram uh, girl like this, I would know about it. I mean, I guess there are kind of hologram girls. I guess, uh... What's the, what's the one with the green hair? But she's not like, she's not like an AI, you know, she just kind of like follows the program, you know. But, uh, I think she's a hologram, isn't she? Okay, maybe I'm not the most familiar with the technology. But I mean, if I were to go on this island, like this guy is, to this, to this university, I would think I'd know these things, you know. But she did technically say it. She explained that she was a girl type AI. If I had believed she was an android before, I still would have reached out to save her. She looked she looked enough like a real girl that I would have had that I would have no choice. No, I'm the one who had the wrong idea. There's nothing for you to apologize for, Amy. I guess. I still couldn't get my head around it all. And her words were kind of confusing me too, but she was right. It, it wasn't an issue. I should just be thankful. Well, that wrapped it up. No, it didn't. I was forgetting something. Uh, so, Miss Himari, that's you. I guess you saved me. Alright, sure. So, you saved me, Himari. たまたま近くにいて、アメちゃんに頼まれただけ。だから、気にすることないよ。何より、アメちゃんを助けようとして海に落ちるとか、天然プリが聞けただけで十分だから。<笑> She was missing with me. I actually tried hard to save Amy. Well, at any rate, you two saved my life. Thanks, really. It'd be hard enough for a little girl to save a man, let alone someone on the verge of drowning. Ignoring the slight embarrassment of being saved by a girl, I felt uh, like I needed to thank her properly. What's that type of sentiment? I mean... She'll... No, people, like, a girl can save, you know, people. It's not, like, that weird. I mean, I've never been in a pool and seen anything like that myself. I've never been in a pool, period, but, you know. Um, I would assume so, you know. I mean, water does make you more buoyant to be able to drag you to safety, so I, I would assume, you know, someone could do that. Thanks! Uh, okay, huh? This thing. Something was around my neck. A necklace or something. When did I... Uh, 
近づきの印みたいなものですからもし首にかけるのがお邪魔のようでしたらポケットに入れてもらっても大丈夫ですのでうわーラッキーだねそれレアものだよこの島の人でも持ってる人は少ないんだよ、well, am, but... アメちゃん特製とくせクローバー型の幸運のお守りだよ大事にしないとバチが当たるからね Alright then. I guess we should have been thankful. It's so she can keep tabs on me, isn't it? She can like teleport to it. That'd be awkward just sitting on the toilet, like, like messing on my phone or whatever, and just her just popping there. Hey, Fifty Coon, how are you? I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that would be, that could be awkward. Other people had them. I guess it's alright for me to have one too. Yeah, hang on to it. I tucked the charm under my collar. Well, then, I gingerly stood up to be sure I wasn't injured. The pain I felt when I came to had also dissipated. And thanks to the blazing sun, my clothes were pretty much dry. It seemed like I could walk alright. No, but I appreciate the gesture.、Uh, you've helped me plenty already. I didn't want to worry them or anything, so I did my best to、uh, seem fine. Rub my hands together like I was ready to roll. Like this? Ready to roll? Although, if you, although honestly, the more you keep ru rubbing your hands together like this, it actually starts getting really creepy after a while. Like, at this point, you know, if I was in you know, public doing this, you'd be like, what is up with this guy? I don't like this guy. <laughs> Amy and Himari sure smiled a lot. Who can help but think about Himari's body? She's so elegant and petite. How did she pull me out of the water like that? I'm just observing your body there, Himari. Don't mind me. It's what I do. I size up people in case I have to fight them. In case they either have to rescue me or if I have to fight them. I can take on Amy. We know that. We already analyzed that situation.、Uh, well, actually, it'd probably be more difficult since we actually we can't because she has nobody to be able to like, punch. So、uh, I guess we're sizing up Kamari for, for the same reasons. Oh, nothing. Her long, beautiful hair and big, lively eyes. Even at a glance, she was a delicate flower. I mean, her hat was a little weird. Wow. What does 12 mean? But other than that, she was a key. Huh? What the hell? Numbers? No way, I must have just been dizzy from almost drowning or something. Relax, I needed to relax. Was there numbers before? Now I'm wondering. Don't panic, don't lose your tool. Just put your hand on your chest. <sighs> Take a deep breath. What in the? I wasn't seeing things, they were numbers. I can see it clearly. 12. Was it horoscope? I don't think people. I don't think people are that into horoscopes that they put on their headwear. Regardless of what it meant, it was there to freaking me out. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man! But not Amy. I could only see a number above Hamari. If it was above Amy, I might, it might would have made sense. Her remaining hologram projection time or something like that would have convinced me. But no. There was only a number above,、uh, over Hamari. Could Hamari also be a hologram? No way, was she? She pulled you out of the water, so. She has a physical being. Uh. No way that was it. She, she wouldn't have gotten wet saving me if she was. And she couldn't have saved you, period. She was still a little wet after pulling me out of the water. 
I was positive she was a human. Moshi, moshi. Okay, I was wondering if it was like on that specific spot of the hat, but it looks like it's not. Huh? Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm fine. I just remember something important I have to do is all. That was a terrible excuse, but I guess it was true I had something to do. Yeah, I'll just try not to look at her. I really must have bashed my head or something. I need to just get to the dorms and chill out for the rest of the day. Uh, I'll be sure to thank you properly soon. Later. Don't look. Just don't look. That number was messing my head. I needed to hurry. That's Kazana Campus over there, right? I'll just head that way. No problem. Maybe I was imagining it, but Amy also seemed a little uneasy. I was getting more anxious by the minute. I wouldn't last long if I kept overthinking like this. I decided I would dwell on it later. I need to get to the dorms. Whoa. Tumbling Clover. Almost there. But we are there at the end of the video. Huh. This was fun. I enjoyed this. I'm kind of wanting to play a visual novel again, like, fully through. Um, I'm going to be streaming again uh, pretty soon. Um, probably by the time this video goes out, I'll be streaming uh, again. Uh, I streamed a couple times, but I want to make it a regular thing, you know, like, almost every night. Um, I wish I knew whether or not there was nudity in this game. Or like strong sexual content. If any of the developers, maybe I should. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll look on the forums and see if if anybody asked specifically, like, like how 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 bad it gets. Like I know that it gets like uh, they're they're in their underwear, um, but like, right there, you know, camel toe. But, you know, it is still, you know, covered. And you don't, like, see, like, a strong shape, you know. So, that, I think, that I feel would be pretty safe for, you know, pretty YouTube safe. But if, like, the boobs come out or, you know, they would make it not a good game to stream at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But yeah, if, if I can find out, guaranteed, this mine would be one to stream. So yeah, if let me know if if uh, if in the uh, comments if this would be a game you'd enjoy seeing me stream, or if you know for sure that there's no nudity in it. I didn't see any like uh, options here for. Uh, for like, uh, I see an option to, to do not play movie, but I don't see anything that would be like, yo, you know, turn off this, you know. <laughs> and there's several char several characters. Now, one thing, um. Uh, Oh, no, 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 don't end game. Go to title. One thing I'm curious about, I, I, I did glance at extra. Okay. So, yeah, just the pictures like that count for this. So, I was like, when I saw, like, several, I was like, what's all the pictures for, you know? <laughs> so, as you can see, there's, like, five different characters, uh, our main characters, so. I, I don't know if there's like stories. Uh, I'm not not, not not stories, but um, choices, you know, like to give different endings or whatever. I don't know if it's one of those games either. 
But anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. Again, like I said, let me know if you'd like to see more. Because fish novels are fun, you know. They're fun for me to play, you know, and just, you know, talk through. Well, I don't know. They're probably not that entertaining to watch. I don't know. But they're fun for me to actually play. I guess you can consider it kind of story time with Shook. But anyway, that is going to be it. I do very much appreciate you watching. Oh, and uh, the link for the game is in the description down below. How much is it? It is $40. Definitely appreciative of them letting me try this game out for free. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah. The link will be down in the description below if you want to check out the game. See for yourself what it's like. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a, like it's a pretty sizable visual novel. You know, like, I mean, we played it for 50 minutes here. And, uh, I mean, I was talking and out of my butt for half of the time. But uh, we didn't really get anywhere, <laughs> you know. Uh, we know that there's holograms, and we know there's numbers above heads, and that's really all we know. We don't know Hazuki, Owl, or Noeri, so. Noeri is nowhere to be found yet. With that terrible pun, I will uh, leave it here. I do sincerely hope you enjoyed. I don't know why I'm leaning in. I'm probably freaking you guys out. I'm, I'm like Amy. I'm like, I'm Amy! Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next uh, game. Later there.